But uh, anywho, with Shadow, <laughs> basically, uh, this the purpose of this video is to tell you guys what is coming up, and it is the next tournament. If I'm going to consider this the first, because the other two never had a victor. And this one I kind of like the best because this one literally will test everyone's skill to its primal random luck. Or if you're really skilled with this weapon or not. That's how it'll be decided. So, rules are pretty simple. I have three dice right here with me. There's a green one which decides the weapon category, which will be primary. There's five, as you can tell, but there's a sixth die, right? So, it's going one bolt actions, two rifles, three SMGs, four shotguns, five MGs, and then back at the top with a six as bolt action. Next, we have a red die, which determines which weapon. For example, bolt actions, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, we'll say I get Mosin we have a third die which determines which attachment. Okay, now there you might not have the attachment for this weapon. If you do not, then you can use it dry, which is basically the only option. You, if you can't afford the attachment, whether it be kills or RB, you just use the weapon dry bland Then, it, as far as secondaries go, it'll be determined by a fourth die, and the legal weapons for a secondary pistol, or at least the registered ones, are the M1911, P38, TT33, the Nambu, 357, and, oh, I think all, uh, yeah, everything but the Luger. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down. Now the, here's the restriction. You can only use the weapons designated to kill. As such, your primary and your secondary. Your secondary cannot have an attachment of any kind. Now, on to grenades. Not allowed because they're lethal all around. Molotovs are too much of a asset. So you can't use primary grenades, none of these. Special grenades. Feel free to use signal flares, smokes, and TKs. Now, here's the drawback. If you hit someone with a TK, it does not count. The only way you can get a kill is with these weapons that are designated. Then you got the perks. Feel free to use any perk at your disposal. Correct. I'll get to that in a second. Feel free to use any perk at your disposal but it cannot be the cause of death. For example, you can't use bouncing baddies to kill someone, you can't use a bazooka to kill someone, and you can't use a satchel to kill someone. You can use them to weaken a person, but you cannot use them as the killing blow. So say if you're low on health and you see no way of winning, you can throw a TK and kill someone to cancel out the situation, but no one gets a point. And there's no reduction for that. You, there's no negative points, if you will. Now, melees, the knife itself, you cannot press F and kill someone, unless the attachment given is a bayonet. You can bayonet people to death. That is a legal thing, because it is an attachment for the primary weapon. Now, on to the map choices and how you win. So the maps are just randomly chosen, whether it be by um, both of you agreeing on it or you know both of you going separate ways. It doesn't matter. The maps get chosen by the way it gets chosen. But the rounds themselves do not uh, stop when the map is chosen. The way to stop a round is say well, Jesus. Okay, see, I killed Shadow with my Mosin in here. That would be one kill. The first person to three kills 
gets a point. And then I'll re-roll the dice, and you'll get a new designated weapon. Like, Shadow, shoot me quick. Fuck. Um, so say Shadow killed me. After we re-roll the dice, okay, it would start the kills back to zero apiece. First one of three, again, gets a point. The first one to three points wins. And then the person who lost will get eliminated and the person who won will move on. That is basically the generics and I'll do some demonstration rounds. You ready, Shadow? Skype is not necessary, just so you know. It's just easier for me when I'm doing a video so I don't have to type it. So I got a four, a five, and a one, which means four is shotguns, five is one, two, three, four, trench gun, and the attachment is a flashlight. Now this goes back to, um, oh right, the fourth die. Shoot, where did it go? Here it is. Number four, okay. Now it would be the Nambu. So the weapon is shotgun with flashlight and the Nambu. Here is the thing with flashlights. They must be on. And that's basically it. <laughs> they don't do anything, but they kind of give your position away. So it's kind of a challenge and a tedious task. So you might want to just have your pistol out. Come on, Shadow. Let's do this. Uh, oh god. There we go. I got him. <laughs> you can reload glitch. I do not care. You can do it all you want. No lethal glitches as far as shooting through walls. And I think that's pretty much it. Just don't shoot through walls. Other than that, I don't particularly care. Well, there's a flashlight. Okay, see, I have two kills now. If I get one more, one more will give me the point, okay? See the flashlight? There he is. Oof. Ooh. Okay, see, now that was three. And then I'll take the dice again and re-roll it. Okay, it's six, three, six, two. So it would be bolt action, Mosin-Nagant, attachment six, which is telesight, and then two, which is the P-38. Now I'm going to use different perks. Oh, wait, no. The telesight isn't heavy at all, is it? Yeah. It's best of three. So, so I have one point now, and if I get you again, I'll have two points. Now, there is another rule that I, am, I was contemplating, but now I think it is okay. If you feel lucky, since this is a game about luck, you can wager a point. Okay? You wager one point, and this only goes to the person in the lead, to set up a class. Okay? You pick what you want, but if you lose, the person who did not gamble automatically wins. Okay? So you can leave it completely up to the luck of the draw. If you're in the lead, Say you got, say since it's one to zero, right? I have one point, Shadow has zero. I wager that one point to get myself up to two. Shadow will go, f f uh, if he loses, he stays at zero, I get two. But if he wins, he automatically cancels me out. So that is the gamble, if you want to play it that way. So if you're really, really confident and you win the first match, 
you can go ahead and do that to get yourself a, a bonus, if you will. Or if you're at two and you really, really just want to seal the deal, you can do that as well. But that's the risk, and that's what you can do. And it only goes to the person in the lead. Okay? So, those are the rules. Private message me if you want to register for it. And I like the private message so I can just look through and see who wants in. Fast, easy way to do it. Write you up as a roster. It's just uh, that much simpler. You can play, and the reason it's just best of three. Well, yeah, comment in the video, but I don't know your Roblox name, so. That's why the private message works the best. Oof, good one. 1-1. One, one. See, because Shadow got a kill on me last round, that carries over to this one. Hey, I got a hit marker on you, too. I got you in the face, nonetheless. I saw you coming up the ramp, but I thought, hmm, blow myself up or take you down with me. And to answer the question, if you're tied, say 1-1 one to one or 2-2, two to two, that gamble does not go to anybody. Alright, Shadow, you got three on me. So, Shadow and I are 1-1. One, one. Roll the die again. It's five, one, three, six. So machine guns, number one, attachment three, which is aperture sight. And then it's the Mauser. Shit, I don't have any attachment. <laughs> I keep forgetting, you can't have attachments on pistols. <laughs> it's a rule. Uh-huh. And, I forgot to clarify this, if you have overkill, you can add a secondary attachment. It just can't replace the required attachment. Like, that has to be on there at all times. Okay? So those are the rules. Yeah, until you put dead silence on, then you're flying like a bird. Oh, come on. There we go, baby. Also, just a pro tip. You won't need bandolier, unless <laughs> you're really long and drawn out on your battles. Oh, what? I hit you way more times. <laughs> Defeat. Racked. <laughs> oh, I'm back. No. Oh, God. Why me? Ow. Shailum. A Shailum. Huh. So, actually, for those who continue to watch this final sort of let's uh <laughs> for those of you who continue to watch this beyond the rules part um, let me know what you think of the competition. Like, do you think it'll work? Do you think it's, uh, do you think it's a bit much or not a good idea just in general? Or, you know, let, let me know. Give me some feedback. 2-1. Because this will, and there is a prize. There is a prize to uh, who wins. See? Right there. Oh yeah, and afterlife naturally goes to the person who killed him first. Um, see, right there, what I did was I used a bazooka to weaken him, and then I just pulled out the pistol and killed him. So that was three. Final roll of the die. Unless you come... 
<laughs> okay, so it's four, three, two, four, three, two, one. Yahtzee. Uh, four shotguns. Number three is trench gun, and then attachment two is bayonet, and pistol number one is the M1911, right? Yep. Okay. Shit! Got him! <laughs> One kill. One kill. <laughs> Dead silence on a shoddy? That's a bit, like, much. Ah, I see. Fuck. Come on. Ah, I got. Ah, damn it. Fuck. <laughs> My first bayonet missed. Shit. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, I got that hit. Oh, baby. He's weak. <laughs> Two, one. You were. You were. You got them rounds off on me. You got them rounds off on me. But I won't save you now! Oh god. Yay! GG. And then, since I got three points now, that would there go to me for the victory. And then Shadow would lose. <laughs> bye bye, Shadow. Nah, I'm kidding. So, thank you, Shadow, for being uh, a good sport and helping demonstrate this new tournament. And I assume Shadow wants 